Friday night, mayhem becomes Bedlam and Boca tonight. ESPN College Football Primetime is presented by Ram Trucks. It's FAU homecoming, USF in town. It's the American Conference on ESPN. So South Florida will receive. Carter Davis sends it away. And a fair catch is called for. The South Florida offense after that performance on third down. RG sends it deep downfield. Jaquan Smith can adjust to the ball. Boy, he's got world-class speed. He kind of hangs around, never really goes away. You just have to manage it and, uh, and figure out a way to perform. They set up the screen. Campbell, that's what he does. He makes the first guy miss. And it's going to set him. He'll involve him in the passing game. He is a weapon for Florida Atlantic. And he's got the first down for FAU. Out to midfield. Strong run, a gain of 14 yards. Yeah, you like that, Anish, because second leading receiver. Free play here, I, I would think. You can see the flag. That one rifled across the middle. Wide open Jabari Smith, and that's 13 yards. Be aware for quarterback run here. It's perfect look for quarterback draw. Fancher thought about it. Finds the edge. And he is pulled out of bounds inside the 35-yard line by Jalen Schuler. Six-yard touchdown run. It'll get worse as the game progresses. Here comes the blitz. Fancher gets rid of it. And that is a turnover on downs. It's a great Amari Hayes back from injury and Paco Austin with the tackle. South Florida, that's sort of been the problem. For both teams. Yeah. Archie will take off on third down. Lowers his head. And he's going to be a yard short. I had they always go yard. fast. Yeah. High snap. Archie keeps. And extends the drive. He's been solid on. Pressure. Archie's throw is caught. And that's going to be a first down for USF. Keyshawn Singleton, who made his first career start. If you haven't seen South Florida, you're understanding their tempo. Yes. They'll go fast off incompletions, off negative plays. That time, Wright has no room. A loss of a yard. It's fourth down. Handles the field goals inside of 50. Nico Dramatica, the son of Martin, handles the long ones. And this is a 46-yarder. And no good. Left his foot, was dead straight, and it escaped against Cal, Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech. And off goes to Campbell. Yeah, I like oh. this. And CJ Campbell, what a story this young man is. Patriots. Fancher with a quick throw brought in by Amari Hayes, their top wide receiver. FAU knows exactly what he's going to be doing. Yeah. Here's the blitz off the edge. It's picked up. Fancher down the seam. Fits it into Hayes. He came into the game as the only. They hand it off to Campbell. Nice move. He's got the corner, and he's got six. He's got some wiggle, doesn't he? Wiggle and speed. He can give it to you and take it away with the best of them. He just kind of sets up a defender, one of the edge defenders as he jump cuts outside, and then doesn't even get a hand on him. That's one heck of a play. The extra point by Morgan Suarez is good, and Florida Atlantic drop. Two for seven overall. Pressure over the middle. Middle screen to Ron Keith. He almost got it. All the way out to the 30-yard line, fourth down, and USF will likely call on the punt team. They well, that's their speed, but FAU's got the ball, and on third down, they hand it off, and Mobley is going to be a yard kick. Lupo runs up rugby style. And this one bounces. Atkins will watch it roll. And there's CJ Hurd again on the coverage team. Mike Elko, who's now at AM. 
knows how to he knows how to win. Kelly Joyner, nice swim move, and then brought down by Hurd at the 22-yard line and gain of eight. Let's keep keep this possession alive. Excuse me, alive. Archie downfield and he overshot Atkins, covered by C.J. Hurd. Boy, we're saying. Fancher on third down, navigates nice traffic throw. and fires a strike. In this case, a receiver here. Over the middle, and that is dropped by Hayes. Fourth down. Kawan Bank. Take, take the, the delay, delay game penalty. You know, as a opposing coach, I would never accept. Delay game. Defense number six for disconcerting signals. Five yard penalty. Still fourth down. Wow. So the delay of defense up for Fancher. Fancher will try to run. Now throws wide open. Jabari Smith, first down inside the 30. Excellent job by first transfer. South Florida brings the blitz, and Schuler gets the sack. Carter Davis, who attempts their longer field goals, will come on. It's a 50-yarder. He is two for three from 50-plus this season. And he missed it. What advice can you give your players? Well, for one, we got to get better at the wide receiver position. We're going to recruit better talent. But it's like a basketball team. We got one. Naquan Wright breaks one loose. And South Florida is on the board. Broke the tackle of a pretty good player on the defensive side of C.J. Hurd. And then all of a sudden, Aquan Wright is more the physical back. They love him in protection, but they know that he can carry the rock as well. And Hurd was there, just could not bring down the physical Naquan. Yards on 24 carries. And then he busts one loose. And we are tied at seven, Paul. Out of an offset pistol look. Fancher gets away from Schuler. Nice run. Tumbles for a first down to the 41, a gain of seven. Is he a physical a lefty? So once he throws it, he's finishing on that right side. Tremendous amount of weight. The screen. Mobley nice. has room. Was set up. Drives in USF territory. Fancher will hand it off. Why not? Nothing but daylight in the evening sky for C.J. Campbell. Check that. It's two touchdown runs for C.J. Campbell. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Boy, blocked up very well for C.J. Campbell. DeMarco Augustine goes a little bit too wide in his defense. Gives up leverage. In the back, like Campbell's gonna make you pay. Now he could have run to punt. The extra point, good. Hit on them when they're there. A speedy guy like Jaquan Smith, gotta find him. Now your son plays that NCAA oh, video yes. game. 98 speed rating. That one incomplete. Nearly picked by Lawrence Johnson, true freshman corner who can play. Tell you what, right now, FAU looks like the big brother. Uh, they beat USF 56-14 last year. Mobley mashes the B button oh and slams the turbo. Balance on offense. 148 rushing, 138 passing. Hayes on the tunnel screen. That's plenty of yardage on first down. Give him almost nine. here. Mobley's the running back. Fancher, quick throw. Hayes has some perimeter blockers. And then ran out of room. Did stay in bounds. Seven on the season. Some of the 
move this one left to right. And this one is no good. Kickers tonight. Three different ones. A combined 0 for 3. Atkins didn't allow him to break that tackle to get up the field. Now the clock's still running. Going quickly. Archie's throw to the sideline. Back to Atkins. First down and out of bounds. Remember. And he threw it like he knew what he was doing. He's got two touchdown passes at South Florida. Archie over the middle. Might have to burn that Boom. last time out. What a move to Ron Woo. Keith tonight. Archie downfield, and that is going to be complete to Hardy. Nice, but there's time. a flag down. Time also shows triple zeros. Oh boy, let's see what we have here. I think he's definitely out of bounds. Out that of bounds. right foot, the left one as well. And with the incompletion. After review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. The half is over. There you go. So they look at it. He not only went out of bounds, he caught the ball, which means the draft, Michael Tucker, waits deep. From the two. And Tucker dropped at the 25 yard line. Down. Fancher gets away from Mac Harris and then stood up immediately after. And I'm like, blow the whistle. And we get a flag. Good, Good kick. Punt. Atkins near the sideline. And terrific special teams coverage after the 55 yard punt. It's Goggins, a freshman, as we check in with Paul. A school record for passing yards last year, over 3,200 yards. They keep it on the ground again. It's Joyner. He's got a blocker in front, moving people. <laughs> Gets inside the 25. How about. Joyner gets the call. Pinballs inside the five. Where he is tackled. To free up Joyner. Going quickly again. Joyner pushing. And he's going to be marked just shy of the goal line. I just love this formation, right? Archie will try. Archie yeah. is in. Just like that, initial possession in the second half. South Florida has made this a game. Kick out blocks by Singletary on the edges. Opens up things where they can't collapse down. In Cannon ties the game at 14. This is going to be an end of this FAU offense. Four for 10 on third down. Steps up and throws incomplete for Marlon Johnson. Another. Personal foul, Justin Packer, number 90. Defense, 15 yard penalty, automatic, first down. Now those are the ones that drive you crazy as a head coach. We saw earlier in the game on fourth down and six. Fancher down the seam, man wide open. Campbell! Has called his third touchdown of the night. Well, he has shown it all tonight, hasn't he? Running tough between the tackles, bouncing off guys, making guys miss. It's just zone coverage, so you're trying to hold a safety with your eyes. And watch the back out of the backfield, right up the seam. They pass him off, but there's nobody there. Fancher does a nice job of moving coverage to his right. The grace. The extra point good, and Campbell's third touch. Yeah, he will pack his uh, haircutting supplies. Play action. Atkins juggles and holds on. Andre, would you let Clark touch your hair? I would. <laughs> Off play action. Archie wants to take a shot. 
A lot of contact. And there's the flag. Wanted Singleton. That's the defense for 12. Defense. 15 yard penalty. Automatic. First down. Last scoring drive. The Florida Atlantis. On their way to doing so. RJ to Singleton who brings it in. And it moves the chains. You hear me say this sometimes. That guys are. Third down. Pressure. Middle screen. Right. He got close. Do you I go for it? I think he's close enough to where you go for, for sure. Came in 47 in this situation. Archie shovels. There is right. Pound for pound, the strongest guy on the team. Squats 635. Benches 385. And Archie to the end zone. Atkins brings it in. What a throw and an even better catch by Atkins. Sure-handed receiver gets inside position. And Archie just lets one rip. Cannon ties the game. Sean Atkins. Came his third and long. Bancher under pressure, stays on his feet. Has room. First down and more. Across midfield, turf toe, steel plate and all. A gain of 35 for Fancher. Off play action. Mobley in the flat. He's got wheels. An analyst for the Chicago Bears as well before coming to FAU. Fancher, incomplete, was looking for his tight end, Sullivan. Fourth down, Good one to go. Saw him limp off earlier. And they hand it off, Mobley, I don't know there. if he got there. He did not. Stopped inside the 30 south. Penetration, and that's exactly what happened with Hawthorne. See if USF takes a shot. Checked out in the flat with the oh, run. Look at the speed of Teron Keith. Grad transfer. Third running back in this deal. Wonder if something's going on with Jordan. He's got room. Archie in front of him, ready to throw blocks. And in two plays after the turnover on downs. Archie under pressure. They'll try to run for it. And taken down by Chris Jones from behind. Only a yard, fourth down. You got this is a 34-yarder. Place kickers tonight, 0 for 3 on field goal attempts. And this one inside the uprights and South Florida leaves. Fancher eluding the pursuit, hit from the backside. Ball is loose, and it looks like South Florida recovers. Rico Watson with the blindside hit to force the fumble, and that is the initial ruling on the field, and the Bulls have it inside the FAU 25. DJ Gordon recovered the fumble. Really the Not field. quite sure what Cam it's Fancher was thinking, because he sees Rico Watson, the third, go by him. You got to know that he's going to reroute and get himself back into the play, and he's not that far away from you. Just Feels like there's three of them out there. Order the motion man. Archie rolling right. Chase throws in traffic. Wow. Well, what a completion. And it is caught by the tight end, Peyton Singletary. That one. That's a heck of a grab in, in traffic. First and goal. Going quickly. Shovel pass, Joyner dives in, and the Bulls take a two-score lead. Well, they do one. That's well executed by Bryce Archie, making it look like he's going to sprint out, and they sneak Joyner in underneath. So you're going to 
have the defense pull itself, that opens it up for Archie, excuse me, for jo Joyner underneath. Excellent job. It's a rollout. Nope. Shovel pass. Cannon's extra point. Snakes through. Paul Carcaterra, quarter number four here in Boca Raton. Sixth meeting all time between FAU and USF. Third and long. And this has been the story lately here. Fancher dancing around. Now throws deep downfield. Has a receiver open. Underthrown. Intended for Hayes. Ward was able to close quickly. Ward's and he was able to pay. Really bad decision by Cam Fancher. Throw it up late. Early on the field. And yeah, where pass. he throws Four it's times. the problem. Throw this to the sideline. You might get away with it. It's out of bounds, but you throw it up late, high, and over the middle. Well, that's tough. And you're rolling on the field. Can't really make a play pass. That play. See if his review. hands are completely under the ball. Remember the ruling on the field. What do you mean by the, that? The last two seconds. The so review. The ruling on the field stands before down. You were right. Well, when you feel the pass rush, and a guy goes by you, and you step up in the pocket. Because you made him miss the field position here. Lupo's kick bounces right into the arms of Atkins and a strong starting field position. It's impressive. They're seven and zero, and Mahomes has put up by his standards very pedestrian numbers. Right spins out of trouble. And ankle tackled by Hurd at midfield. It's a first down, a gain of eleven. Would you say some big plays and? Right now, Brown Stevens. Long mesh point. Archie keeps it on the zone raid. He's inside the 10. Bryce Heard Archie another tackle. Oftentimes it's a rhythm offense, and they keep getting the ball back. Archie into the flat, incomplete for his tight end Dangler, who does not have a catch this season. Personal foul, illegal blindside block. For seven, offense, 15 yard penalty, repeat first down. Florida trying to string back to back wins to get to 500. Joiner squeaks through the middle and he gets to the 17, got six back. Joiner again finds a hole, touchdown, South Florida. What a run! A heck of a job of setting up blocks and then making the cut. I mean, they, they get him underneath, start the stretch. Kilfoyle with a heck of a block to open things up for Joyner. And or did he make a nice, nice run, a nice cut? There. And it is now a. Sure can't get away, and down he goes. Sacked for the sixth time tonight. Ira Singleton. Lupo forced to punt. Now Atkins. He'll throw it back. This guy's a burner. And Jaquan Smith pulled out of bounds. Trying every way. First down, Teron Keith with a big hole. There he goes. Touchdown, South Florida. It is their fourth rushing touchdown, and it's come from four different plays. Now, Teron Keith, who is the fresh legs of the three into the ballgame. He's broke a couple of big runs, but I mean, it just opened up. He makes a pretty good tackler, and CJ Hurd miss. Now everybody's trying to track him down. And just fast enough to <laughs> the fake to Atkins. And a trick play with it. RJ floater incomplete. And remember, at the very beginning of the broadcast, it was a 21 21 game at one point here in the third quarter. Pancher able to complete Marlon Johnson for a first down and 
I like the old Hemingway line on they've had to go to the air with the deficit. It's taken them out of what they do well, the run game. There's a wheel route executed perfectly, and it's ruled incomplete. Leon Washington could not control the ball as he was going out of bounds. You gotta, I think they're going to give it they to him. They will give it to him. Okay, initially ruled. Here comes the all-out blitz. Fancher just lobs it up, and he'll get the flag. Yeah, but Hayes has got to catch that. It's hitting him in the face mask. Pass interference, number 13. Defense, 15-yard penalty, automatic. First down. It's easy. The easy part's getting open. Yeah, the, the tough part is if South Florida holds on, they even their overall record at 4-4 four and, four and their conference record at 2-2. Two two. Fancher's got room to run. Takes Ooh. a big hit. And he's going to be short of the line to gain. Here, Fancher. Campbell had to pick a guy to block, and Ward was who he left. Quick throw, almost picked. Incomplete, knocked away by Ben Knox. Turnover on downs, and USF stories yeah. that's not being talked about enough in college football. I agree totally. On third down, South Florida able to move the chains. If you haven't seen that game, as a fan of college football, Army Navy, be a Dude, shock. That's, sure. that's going to be a shock to some fans of teams that are in the top 12 in the AP poll. Where, hey, wait a minute, we were number 10, number 11 in the AP poll. That's how my come, point. How come we're number 18 in the college football that's playoff? 30 years of age, turns 31 in December. Punts it away, gets it away. Fair catch. Called for. It skirts out of bounds. Sports Center will preview the huge matchup in Happy Valley, Penn State against his old team. Pancher fires a strike. Dominique Henry over BYU Cougar. And once this became a two, three score game and FAU had to abandon the run, they have not been effective. Fancher again misfires, fourth down. Nine times at halftime. <laughs> Extending the play on fourth down, flips it downfield, and it is incomplete off the hands of George Johnson. Turnover on downs. Four as well, so I mean, he is recruiting at an elite level. Beating a lot of power four schools, as Andre was saying to the quarterback right here, beating a lot of power four schools out for some talent. And when we talk to Alex Gola, coach, out of trailers, basically. How about this? Fourth down, Bryce Archie comes in the game. They're going to throw the ball. Wow, Atkins gets the first down. All right, Andre, 44 to 21. And now they will take the knee. Basically on fourth down, just to make sure they got the first down, and then go ahead and sit on the ball and get this thing over. South Florida trailed at the half. They end up scoring the game's final 30 points. They run for more than 300 yards. The defense ties a school record with seven sacks. And Tom Herman and Alex Golish getting into it as they're coming off the field. That is Boy, the that definition was... of a rivalry right there. Yeah, that's a rivalry, folks.